What's happening to us? Sorry, Lucius. I'm just a little tired. Oh, hi, Lucius. If you have some spare time, you can search for my band's cassette. I would, but I have to wait until your father gets here. Have you seen that cassette around yet? Oh, you found it. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Lucius. I'm sure you'll like it, too. Ah, after all we've been through, isn't it nice to just relax and listen to some great music? I'm not so sure. I mean, I guess this is all right, but to tell you the truth, I'm getting a bit tired of it. You can't be serious. I mean, listen to this. If it ain't the boy wonder, have you found that tire iron for me yet? Shh, listen. You know, time passes a lot faster with music. Hello, son. Again. Can you get me my tire iron from the storage room? You know, time passes a lot faster with music. Thank you. 
there, little dude. No, sir. I didn't see anything. I was in the other room trying to fix the washer. When I came back, the car was running, and he was lying on the floor. Let me get this straight. You were in the next room and didn't hear the car starting by itself. No, sir. I didn't hear anything over the music. I know how it sounds, but I swear I'm telling you the truth. Yeah, right. Well, you can explain that to the judge. I'm going to go get the deputy here. So this is just to make sure you don't go do anything stupid. What the hell happened here? I left the room for like five seconds. Holy shit, is that Will? I just had coffee with him this morning. I can't take much more of this. We need to leave this godforsaken place. We are not going anywhere. Call the paramedics and let them know we have another body here. Why are we still here? We should leave now. I'm not staying a minute longer inside this house. Nancy, I need you to be calm. I've called the priests for help. If they can't, no one can. You can't still seriously believe that a seven-year-old boy could be behind this. That's what I'm going to find out. In the meantime, stay away from Lucius. Listen, Charles, I'm going to wait for you in the garden with our son. If you don't show up, then we will leave without you. That thing is not our son, and I'm going to prove it to you.
I swear, it wasn't me. It was the boy. He's the we Antichrist. We saw the whole thing. It's over now. You're Get under your arrest. Get your hands off me. Stay with the kid. I'll go after him. I'll call for backup. He eluded us, somehow, until we finally caught him in the act. All the signs of his deteriorating mental state had been there all along. I remember watching him pull the trigger on that nail gun. It felt like time was slowing down as the nail went through her skull, ripping pieces of her brain with it onto the lawn. Her body fell to the ground like a lifeless rag doll, and all the questions, the mysteries, the suspicions were put to rest. Charles Wagner killed her right in front of our eyes, and when we tried to apprehend him, he managed to escape. I told the deputy to take care of the kid, who witnessed the whole horrible event, and I went after the perpetrator. I was in close pursuit when I lost control of the car and crashed into a ditch. I tried to notify the deputy. There was a chance Wagner would double back to the mansion, but there was no answer. When I finally arrived, the worst had already happened. All units secure the perimeter. We have a suspect in flight, Charles Wagner, Caucasian early 40s. Proceed with caution, suspect may be armed and dangerous. Yeah, that Charles Wagner. Try to get a child psychologist in here, too. We got a kid here who's just seen some pretty serious stuff. Okay, son. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Just try to relax if you can. 